good evening shikha and sir tell me if i'm audible to both of you oh uh, yes you are audible yes, sir all right thank you so much all right so both of you in the previous session we were talking about the valuation of goodwill while covering this topic i have i've already covered these things like the meaning of meaning of the goodwill wherein i have told you that goodwill is the name and reputation of a business which allows a business to earn super profit comparing with the other other businesses then i have also told you that there are two types of goodwill the self generated and the purchased goodwill and in this topic particularly we are talking about the calculation of the purchase or uh, the self generated goodwill the valuation of goodwill can be done by applying four methods we have average profit weighted average profit super profit capitalization method until until now in this topic we covered these things we understood the calculation of the goodwill by the average profit method and uh, we did few questions based on the average profit method like question number 51 52 53 then in the last class we talked about the calculation of the normal profit wherein i have told you that in order to determine the normal profit of a business we need to subtract all abnormal incomes and add all abnormal losses so as to determine the normal profit and once we are uh, once we calculate uh, the normal profit of a business then only we will be able to determine the average profit and only then we will be in a position to calculate the goodwill of the firm then we discuss question number 53 and uh, 54 also and then 55 and i think i have given you this question for you as your homework question number 56 right and i'm sure that you must have done this question tell me all of you whether or not you guys have done this question or not shifa oh yes i did it you did it okay uh saf please confirm whether you did this or not um, no sir no uh, yes why so i thought only 54 and 55 was <coughs> so will you be able to solve it or or not this question yeah yeah i'm talking about this one Um, will you be able to solve it or not because do you want me to solve it for you or shall we proceed to the next question so if you can solve it it would be better it would be better if i solve it okay yes sir. all right then uh, okay no no issues so let's start with question number 56 since staff did not complete it this So question is telling us that Sumit purchased Amit business on 1st of April 2019. Goodwill was decided to be valued at two years purchase of average normal profit of the last four years. The profit for the past four years is given as uh, in the year 2016 was 80,000, then 41 lakh, 45,000, then 1 lakh, 60,000, then 2 lakh. Question tells us that there is a normal loss of 20,000, which was which was debited to the profit and loss account for the year ended 31st of March 2016. A fixed asset was sold in the year ended 31st of March 2017. And again, a profit of twenty-five thousand was credited to the profit and loss account. And in the year ended thirty-first of March two thousand eighteen, assets of the firm were not insured due to oversight. Insurance premium not paid was fifteen thousand. Calculate the goodwill of the firm. Okay. So considering all these factors, we need to find out the goodwill. So, but before before finding out the goodwill of the firm, we need to find out the correct. We need to find out the correct profit or the normal profit of the firm. and for that purpose we will have to prepare a working note now let's see solution solution to question number 56 calculation of good bill by 
एवरेज प्रॉफिट मेथड एंड द फॉर्मूला फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग गुडविल बाय एवरेज प्रॉफिट मेथड इज वेरी सिंपल इट इज गुडविल इक्वल्स टू एवरेज प्रॉफिट into number of years purchased right number of year purchase must have been given in the question let me just check yeah question already tells us that we need to calculate goodwill based on two years purchase so number of year purchase in this question will be taken as two years so only thing that is required to be calculated in order to determine the value of the goodwill is the value of the average profit and to determine the value of the average profit we need to first of all find out the normal profit so we will be preparing a working note showing calculation of average profit so to determine the average profit of the firm we need to find out the first of all we need to find out the normal profit of the firm for the year 2016 17 18 and 19 here yeah. 2016 2017 2018 and 2019, right? And profit for these years whatever the profit given, we will be subtracting abnormal. We will subtract abnormal. Tell me abnormal incomes, right? Is that right? Abnormal income will be subtracted, yes or no? Yes, sir. And we will also subtract. We will. We need to add. Tell me what we need to add. Abnormal losses. Abnormal losses. Right. And by doing this, we will be able to determine the value of the normal profit. Is that right? Yes, yes or no? Okay. Okay. So for the year two thousand six, just two. Yeah. For the year two thousand sixteen, the profit that is given in the question is eighty thousand. Right, eighty thousand is the profit given in the question. Eighty. All right. Then, out of eighty thousand, question says that abnormal. See, read the adjustment number one. It says that abnormal loss of twenty thousand was debited to profit and loss account for the year ended thirty first of March two thousand sixteen. So, in for the year two thousand sixteen, we Have debited abnormal loss. That means we have subtracted abnormal loss while calculating the profit of the year two thousand sixteen. Right? Everybody is able to understand this first statement. Abnormal loss yes, was debited yes. means abnormal loss was subtracted earlier while calculating the profit of eighty thousand. But since it it was the abnormal loss, now to find out the normal normal profit, what should we do with the abnormal loss? What should we do with the abnormal loss? Tell me. Tell me, sir. Uh, sir. Tell me quickly. Sir, are you guessing it? You are not sure about it. Sir, come on, yeah. This is so easy. Question says that there is a 
there was an abnormal loss of twenty thousand. How do we do? How do we deal with abnormal losses? Sir, we had. <clears throat> we had, and so speak with with yes. confidence, na? Huh? We need to add twenty thousand. Is that right? Yes, sir. We'll be adding twenty thousand. So let's write it in this column. Twenty thousand will be added. Got it. Now moving on to the next year, two thousand seventeen. Let's find out the profit of the two thousand seventeen. That is one lakh forty five thousand. So we'll go to the statement. We'll write it right here. One lakh forty five thousand. And see whether any adjustment is given regarding the 2017's profit or not. See, read the second sheet. The 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 let me yeah second statement. And the second statement says that a fixed asset was sold in the year ended 31st of March 2017, and again and gain that means profit of rupees 25 25,000 was credited to the profit and loss account. So second statement says that there was a profit of 25,000 on account of sale of fixed asset. Tell me, sir. Yes, when we when there is a profit on sale of fixed asset, does it considered as a normal profit or the abnormal profit? Abnormal profit. Abnormal profit, na? Yes, sir. And because it is the abnormal profit, then how do we deal with the abnormal profit? So we subtract. We subtract it. So we will go to the 2017 year 2017 and subtract 25,000. Right, subtract twenty-five thousand. Yes, sir. Done. Got it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There will be no change in the in any other value. So this is it. Moving on to the next year, two thousand eighteen. Profit is one lakh sixty thousand. So write one lakh sixty thousand here, and. Just see whether there is any adjustment given in the question regarding 2018 or not. So in the third statement, it states that in the year ended 31st of March 2018, asset of the firm were not insured due to oversight. Insurance premium not paid was 15,000. Now see, insurance premium like I I have explained this in the previous class as well. Insurance premium is a normal expense. Right, insurance premium is what? Insurance premium is the normal expense. expense. So normal yes, expense need to be subtracted, yes or no? Yes, sir. They should have been subtracted, na. But while calculating 2018 profit, we somehow ignored this 15,000 expense. We didn't subtract yes, it earlier. Now to correct, to find out the correct profit, the normal profit, we need to subtract it now, yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, so one lakh sixty thousand minus fifteen thousand. So I'm, I just didn't made the column for the normal loss, normal expense. So I'll subtract it from here only, fifteen thousand. Okay, and profit of the two thousand nineteen is also given in the question. That is two lakh, and there is no adjustment regarding two thousand nineteen. So entire two lakh will be considered as the normal profit. Now, now let's just calculate total norm, normal profit of the firm. Eighty thousand minus twenty or uh, plus twenty thousand will be eighty thousand plus twenty thousand will be. Guys, why don't you speak? Eighty thousand plus twenty thousand will be one lakh, na? Staff. Yes, sir. My network is down, sir. So network is down. Yes, sir. One lakh forty-five thousand minus twenty-five thousand will be one lakh twenty thousand. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes. And one lakh sixty minus fifteen thousand will be one lakh forty-five thousand. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And two lakh minus zero will be two lakh. Yes, sir. Yes. So this is the normal profit. And then now we will add the total normal profit of all the years. Yes, sir. Six. So it will be. Tell me. Tell me the total value. Two lakh twenty thousand. Three lakh twenty thousand. Three lakh sixty-five thousand. Then five lakh sixty. I guess it is five lakh sixty-five thousand. I'm not. If I'm not wrong. Anyone, please tell me. You get. You are getting the same answer. Five lakh sixty-five thousand. Yes or no? Shifa, you you got this fifty five lakh sixty five thousand. Yes, sir. 
short na okay 565000 then we need to find out the average profit of the last four years na so we'll divide it by to determine the average profit of the last four year we will divide it by four years yes or no yes and by doing this we will get the average profit of the last four years tell me the average profit that we will get average profit will be 565000 divided by 4 this will be 141250 yes sir into 2 lakh is it everyone is this is this clear yes or no yes sir okay now we'll go to our main working area and write down 141250 into 2 so the value of the goodwill will be Two lakh eighty two thousand five hundred. Yes, sir. Got it. Is this clear now, Shifa? You got the same answer. Yes, sir. All right. So this is this is it. This was all about this question. And uh, okay, so Zainab was not there in the previous class, so she must be having some problem understanding it, since she missed the previous class. Yes, sir. Zainab, you understand. You got you understood yes, this. Yes, I got the link. Yes, sir. you got the link. You you covered covered this topic through the link. Yes, sir. All right then. So I'm sure that this is clear to you as well. Yes. Sir. Okay. So moving on to the next question. In fact, we will be starting our new concept. Now see. Until now, from the last two session, we were discussing the valuation of goodwill by the average profit method, right? But if you are able to recall, we have three other method as well. So we did few question based on the average profit method. Now we will talk about the weighted average method. So we'll talk about the we'll talk about a new method of the valuation of goodwill that is weighted average profit method. So before doing any question based on the weighted average method, I just want Everyone to note this down. Just prepare the format. Note down the formula as well. Prepare this table. Also note down the formula. I'll explain it once you are done. And let me know as soon as you are done writing it. Is it clear, Saif, Shifa, and Zainab? Yes, sir. Shifa is that clear? Yes, sir. Zainab is that clear to you as well? Okay. Done. All right. Just I'm just waiting for others to finish this.
Done, both of you? Yes, sir, done. Yes. Okay, so see, uh, this is this is the formula for calculating goodwill by average profit method. The main formula is weighted average profit. Just like in the previous formula, we used to multiply the average profit with the number of year purchase. This time, we need to calculate weighted average profit. And then whatever the weighted average profit we will get, we'll we'll just multiply it with the number of year purchase and we will get the total value of the goodwill. So the only difference in the formula is that this time, instead of multiplying it with the average profit, we will be multiplying it with the weighted average profit. This is the only difference in the question, in the formula, in fact. Now the question arises, how do we actually calculate weighted average profit? That is the question. So to determine the weighted average profit, what do we do? We prepare this kind of format, right? So we write down, like we have, for example, uh, profit for the last three years is given. For example, profit for the year 2019, 2020, 2021 is given. Let's suppose 1 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh, right? And if there is any adjustment, like if there are, is any adjustment required like if there if we have earlier debited any abnormal loss or abnormal income then such adjustment will be made in this column like for example we have included one abnormal income in the 2019 profit so we need to subtract abnormal income like for example if no, abnormal income added earlier was 20000 so we need to subtract 20000 right and similarly one abnormal expense was subtracted in the year 2020 so we will be adding such abnormal expense to determine the normal profit. So let's suppose the abnormal loss that was earlier deducted was 30,000. And no adjustment was there in the 2021. So whatever the adjustment required, that will be done in this column. And accordingly, depending upon the adjustment, after adding or subtracting the value, we will be able to determine the normal profit like 1 lakh minus 20,000. The normal profit will be 80,000. Is that right? Similarly, 2 lakh plus 30,000 will be 2 lakh 30,000. Is that correct? And 3 lakh minus 0 will be 3 lakh itself. Got it? Is, it, is this clear, Saf? Shifa, Zainab? Yes, sir. Saf, yes. is this clear, yes or no? Saf, I'm waiting for your response. Please confirm whether it is clear or not. Yes, sir. Saf, Saf, I'm asking. Saf, is this clear? Say yes or no at least. I'm not able to hear you, Saf. Yeah. Internet problem, sir. Can't speak. Okay, just tell me whether this point is clear to you or not. Yes, sir. It's, it's clear. It's clear, okay. All right. And then, see, after finding out the normal profit for different year, we need to multiply the normal profit with the weights. Weight will be given to you in the question. Like for example, weight for 2019 is 1 and for the year 2020 is 2 and then 3. Weight for the different years will be given to you in the question. Weight could be any, any value. Like for example, for the year 2019, the weight is given as 4. For the year 2020, weight is given as 6. For the year 2021, weight is given as 2. That will be given in the question. That will be given in the question. And whatever the weight given in the question for different years, you just need to keep that weight in this column and then multiply the normal profit with the weight to determine the weighted profit. Multiplying 80,000 into 4, we will get 3,20,000. This will be considered as the weighted profit. Then 2,30,000 into 6, we will get, uh, let's suppose, is a 18 so 13 lakh 80000 this will be the weighted profit 2 into 3 lakh will be 6 lakh this will be the weighted profit got it is this clear the calculation of weighted till weighted profit is clear to everyone yes sir janab is this yes, clear yes, sir. is this clear yes sir okay 
then once you are done with the total uh, then then once you are once you are done with the calculation of weighted profit you just need to total all the weighted profit like for example 13 lakh 80000 plus 3 lakh it will be 16 plus 20 17 lakh plus 6 uh, it will be 23 lakhs total weighted profit will be 23 lakh is that right and then after getting the total weighted profit you need to also calculate the total weight total weight basically means 6 plus 4 plus 2 6 plus 4 plus 2 that means 12 and then you just need to multiply you just need to divide the total weighted profit with the total weight like total weighted profit in the question is 23 lakh so 23 lakh divided by 12 total weight and whatever the whatever the value you will get that will be considered as the weighted average profit and that is what you require for the calculation of the goodwill weighted average profit is required for the calculation of goodwill so 2 lakh 30000 divided by 12 will be weighted average profit then you will simply put the total uh, the weighted average profit in the in the formula and then multiply it with the number of year purchase and you will get the answer done tell me if it is clear or not everyone Oh yes, it's clear. Yes, Diana, it's clear. Seth, is this clear? Yes. Okay, so let's let's start with question number fifty-seven. So question fifty-seven says that profit of a firm for the year ended thirty-first of March for the last five years were for the year two thousand fifteen it is twenty thousand, then sixteen, twenty-four thousand, seventeen, thirty thousand, twenty-five thousand, and eighteen thousand. Calculate the value of goodwill on the basis of Three years purchase of weighted average profit, not the average profit pro profit this time. It wants us to calculate the goodwill on the basis of the weighted average profit. Assigning weights, weight is also given in the question. See, weight is given as one, two, three, four, and five to the profit for the year ended thirty first of March two thousand fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That means. Weight for the year two thousand fifteen, the weight will be one. For the year two thousand sixteen, the weight will be two, three, four, and five, respectively. I hope this point is clear, everyone. Tell me if it is, if it is clear or not. It's clear. Okay. All right. So let's just solve this question quickly. Let me show you how to how to do that. So this question has no adjustments. Yeah, this question has no adjustments. So. You don't require. You won't be required to make a column for the adjustment. So let me let me just solve it here only. Profit for different years are given, na. So okay, let just let me just do it here. All right. I want everyone to note this down quickly. Solution to question number uh, fifty-seven. Okay. First of all, let's just apply the formula for the valuation of goodwill. Goodwill by weighted average profit method. Okay. And the formula in case of weighted average method is goodwill equals to Weighted average profit multiplied it with the number of years purchased. Number of years purchased. So number of year purchased is already given in the question. We don't have to make any calculation for it. Number of year purchase in the in the question is three years, right? So we just write three years here, and all we require, all we need to do is find out the weighted average profit. So let's just prepare a working note for that calculation of the weighted average profit. See, this is how we will do it. We will first of all prepare a working note. Calculation of average uh, weighted average profit. Okay. 
for the calculation of weighted average profit, what we'll do, we just prepare a format, something like this years. Then the profit of the firm, adjustment, if any required, then the column for the normal profit, then a column will be made for weights, and this will be weighted average, sorry, weighted profit. So we have years given the question 2015, 16, 17, 18, and 19, 2015, 2016, 2017, 18, and 2009. Profit that is given in the question is for the year 2015, it is 20,000, then 24,000. Then thirty thousand, then twenty five thousand. These are these values are already given in the question. I'm not calculating it. Eighteen thousand. All these values are there in the question. In this question, no adjustment is given, so we won't be making any adjustment. This entire column will remain. Blank. And 20,000 minus zero will be 20,000, 24,000, 30,000, 25,000, and 18,000. Then we need to multiply it with the weight. Weight is already given in the question. Weight was one, two, three, four, and five for different years, respectively. One, two, three. Four, five. You just need to multiply profit, normal profit into weight. Normal profit into weight to find out the weighted profit. So twenty thousand into two, one two, into one will be twenty thousand itself. Forty four thousand into two will be forty eight thousand, right? Then thirty thousand into three will be ninety thousand. Twenty five thousand into four will be one lakh. Eighteen thousand into five. It will be how much it will be? 90,000. Yeah. Guys, everyone, is this clear? Tell me, everyone. Yes, sir. All yes, right. sir. Now, just tell me the total, total weighted profit. Total of the weighted profit will be and total, total value of the weight. Yes, sir. Total weight will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. That means 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 3, 12 plus 2, 14. And 15 will be the total weight. And the total weighted profit will be, <clears throat> just a minute, 190 plus 2,80,000. Just a minute, let me calculate this on the calculator. This will be three lakh for three lakh forty eight thousand. Right, everyone. Three lakh forty eight thousand will be the weighted profit. Now we need to find out the weighted average profit. Wait for weighted average profit. What do we do for weighted average profit? Tell me, sir. What do we do? How do we find out weighted average profit? Tell me quickly. So do. You Divide three lakh forty eight thousand by fifteen. Fifteen. Got it. Perfect. Very good. So dividing it by fifteen, we should get twenty three thousand two hundred. Right? Is this clear, everyone? Yes, sir. 
Okay, now we'll go to the main working area and put the value of the weighted average profit here, 23,200. And then multiply it by three. Multiplying it by three, we will get 69,600. Got it, everyone, is this clear? Yes, sir, it's clear. Okay. Done with the done with writing or is writing it or you want me to scroll down or up? Steph, you're still writing it. Shifa, Zainab. Sir, so I wrote it. I'm done. Steph, please confirm you are still writing it or not. No, sir. Done, na? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's con let's continue with question number fifty-eight. It says that Amitabh and Bachchan are partners sharing profit and loss in the ratio of five to three on first of April two thousand twenty. Chaman is admitted to the partnership for the one fourth share of profit for the purpose of goodwill is to be valued at two years purchase. Now see in this question all these points from uh, starting from amitabh and bachchan till the one fourth share of profit these points are not at all relevant for the calculation for the valuation of goodwill this is completely irrelevant this is not at all important for us so we can just ignore these information move on to the fourth line which says that for the purpose of goodwill is to be valued at two years purchase so this is important two years purchase of the last three years profit after allowing partner remuneration, profit to be weighted one, two, three, four, one, two, three, the grade weight being given to the last year. Net profit before partner remuneration for the year ended 31st of March 2018, 19, and 20 were 2,30,000, 2,50,000 lakh, 2 lakh 30, 000, 2 lakh 50, 000, respectively. Remuneration of the partner is estimated to be 90,000 per annum. Calculate the amount of goodwill. Okay, so this question might seem lengthy and you might think it is a difficult question, but this is very, very easy. Question basically requires us to find out the weighted average, uh, requires us to find out the value of the goodwill on the basis of the weighted average profit method. And for that purpose, question is giving us the information regarding the profit of the two, year 2018, 19, and 20. Three years profit is given, which is 2 lakh, 2 lakh 30,000, 2 lakh 50,000. But question also says that we need to calculate the goodwill after subtracting partner's remuneration. And these profit were calculated without, without subtracting the remuneration of the partner. So we will have to first of all determine the profit after reducing the partner's remuneration. And whatever the profit that we will get, on the basis of the, that, we will be calculating the weighted average profit and then we will be able to calculate the value of the goodwill. Right, everyone? Understood this? Tell me, Shifa, Zainab, and Seth, is this clear, yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm moving to the next question and I won't be preparing the format. Again, let me just erase all these things. Give me a moment. Okay. So my format is already prepared. <clears throat> all right, again. See, uh, in, the, in this question, Again, we need to find out the weighted uh, goodwill by the weighted average profit method. And for that purpose, we will apply the same formula one more time. Weighted average profit into number of year purchase. Number of year purchase is again given in the question. That is two years purchase. So we, need, we are already clear about the number of year purchase. So we can write this here. Two years purchase. We just need to find out the weighted average profit somehow. And then once weighted average profit is calculated, then we will be able to find out the value of the goodwill as well. Then for that purpose, we can prepare a working note calculation uh, showing the calculation of the weighted average profit, right? 
<clears throat> tell me is this is is everything clear until now yes sir okay so let me just calculate yes, the weighted sir. weighted profit and we will start with the year profit of the year 2018 19 and 20 is given na so 2018 just a minute Two thousand nineteen and two thousand. The profit for the year two thousand eighteen is two lakh. Then two lakh thirty thousand. And two lakh fifty thousand. Right. And question. Also require call question requires us to calculate the profit or calculate the weighted average profit after considering a remuneration after allowing partners remuneration the remuneration is given as ninety thousand per annum that means we need to subtract ninety thousand from each year's profit this will be this is considered as the adjustment entry nine minus ninety thousand as partners remuneration minus ninety thousand. And again, ninety thousand. Worried everyone is this clear? Zainab Shifa and Saif. Yes. Okay, so after subtracting ninety ninety thousand out of two lakh, the profit will be two lakh nine two lakh minus ninety thousand will be one lakh ten thousand. Then two lakh thirty thousand minus ninety thousand ninety thousand will be one lakh forty thousand. Right. Yes, sir. Then two fifty minus ninety thousand will be one lakh sixty. One lakh sixty thousand. All right, and the weight is also given in the question. Weight is also given in the question, which says weight is one two three. It says that the greatest weight be given. And is it clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, multiplying one lakh ten thousand with one, we will get one lakh ten thousand. Then two lakh eighty thousand, and then four lakh eighty thousand. Is that clear, everybody? Yes, sir. Just total these values. Yes, sir. One one. Zero, or uh, then two lakh eighty thousand plus four lakh eighty thousand. This will be eighty eight lakh seventy thousand. And then we will divide this by six. So dividing it by six, we will get one lakh forty five thousand. Weighted average profit will be. Weighted average profit will be eight lakh seventy thousand divided by six. We will get one lakh forty five thousand. Tell me, everyone, is this clear? Yes or no? Zainab Shifa and Saif, yes. is this clear? Yes, it's clear. One lakh forty five thousand. Then we will yes. multiply it with two years purchase, and we will get two lakh ninety thousand. As the value of the goodwill. Tell me, everyone, is this clear or not? And if you are still yes, writing sir. it, tell me so that I can wait. Otherwise, we will move to the next question. Please note this down quickly. And so let me know when you are done. I want to see the value of weighted average profit. Sure. <clears throat> Yes, 
Zach, you're you're also yes, writing yes, it. Yes, done. Sir. Done. Okay. Zach, you are you are still writing. Sir, I'm done. You're done. Okay. That's good. <clears throat> Moving on to the next question. The next question is question number fifty-nine. All right, guys. So I am waiting for you to finish this. I'm giving you to solve. Or just takes. I'm giving you five seven minutes. Solve it. Let me know the answer. Just read the entire question once, and let me know if you are finding anything difficult in the question. And if you are not finding anything difficult, start solving it. Let me know the answer. I'm waiting for your response. Let me just read it for you once. Raman and Daman are partners sharing profit in the ratio of six is to forty. Right, six is to forty. Forty basically means six is to four or three is to two. Three is to two, six is to four, or six is to forty is the same thing. For the last four years, they have been getting annual salary of fifty thousand. So this is this point is not at all relevant. It says that uh, for the last four years they have been getting an annual salary of fifty thousand and forty thousand respectively. The annual account have shown the following net profit before charging partner salary before charging partner salary. Okay. For the year ended two thousand seventeen, we have a profit of one lakh forty thousand. For the year two thousand eighteen, we have a profit of one lakh one thousand. For the year two thousand nineteen, we have a profit of one lakh thirty thousand. On the first of April two thousand nineteen, Dino is being admitted to the partnership for the one fourth in the share in the profit. Without any salary, this point is completely irrelevant for the valuation of the goodwill. We don't require such information. Anyway, moving on to the next point, it says it says that goodwill is to be valued at four years purchase. This is this is relevant for us. Four year purchase of the weighted average profit of the last three years, and the weight is given as one is to two is to three. The greatest weight be given to the last year, as usual. All right. We need to calculate the value of the goodwill. So, so the salaries will be added, right? Yeah, that is what is it is saying that we need to find out the weighted average profit of profit of the last three year after partner salary. That means you need to calculate the normal profit of the firm for e for every year starting with two thousand seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen after subtracting a salary of both the partners. Salary of both the partners. See. Salary of both the partners will be fifty thousand for Raman and forty thousand for Daman. So the salary will be ninety thousand collectively. So you need you need to subtract ninety thousand from each year's profit. That means one lakh forty thousand minus ninety thousand, one lakh one thousand minus ninety thousand, one lakh thirty thousand minus ninety thousand, and then you will find out the normal profit. And such normal profit will be multiplied with the weight to find out the weighted profit. And totaling the weighted profit, dividing it by the weights, we will be done with the Calculation of the weighted average profit. Then you will simply multiply it with four year to get the value of the goodwill. I hope it is clear. Shifa, Zainab, and Saif. Yes. Tell me if you are yes, finding sir. anything difficult. Otherwise, start solving it. I am waiting for your answer. We still have two three minutes left in this session. I am sure that you will be able to finish this within five minutes. Take your time. Start solving it. Let me know once you are done. And if anyone having any problem, also let me know that.
Sir, I got the answer. Tell me the answer you got, Chapa. 96,000. We didn't get it, I'm doing. Zainab, you got the same answer? Uh, so, sorry, uh, is, it, is it Zainab who's telling me the answer? Yes, sir. 96,000 you got, na? Shikha, Shikha, you are still calculating it? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, uh, Saif, you're done. See, our answer here is written as 1,28,000. So, I'm not sure about whether this answer is correct or not. I want all of you to calculate this. I'm not sure about the answer on screen. This might be wrong, uh, but let's let just let Shifa confirm whether she is getting the same answer as Zainab or a different one. So I got 1,28,000. Yeah, then, then I guess it will be correct since so answer in this answer. question is also written as 1,28,000. Yes, yes, uh, Seth, you're saying something? So I got the same answer. You got the same answer, 1,28,000. Okay. Oh, so Zainab, I think you must have committed some mistakes since both of them are getting the same answer, 1,28,000. So... 1,28,000 will be our right answer. Okay, sir. Then, okay, just do one thing. Shifa, Shifa, could you please tell me the normal profit of the year 2000? Uh, just a minute, yeah. Tell me the normal profit for each and every year so that Zainab can uh, uh, verify, can cross-check her answer. Tell me the normal profit for the 2017. 2017 is 50,000. 2018 is 11,000 and 2019 is 40,000. All right. So, Zenab, you're getting the same answer? No, Zainab? sir. Why not? Okay. See, 140,000 for the year 2017, in order to determine the normal profit, you need to subtract 90,000 out of 140,000. Have you done that? Yes, you I did that. You did that, yeah. and so you are getting the different answer. One lakh fifty thousand minus one lakh forty thousand minus ninety thousand. How much you have got? One forty minus ninety thousand. Sorry, one one forty minus ninety thousand. How much did you got? Did you got? Uh, fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. That's right. Okay. One zero one thousand minus ninety thousand. Ninety thousand. Tell me the value you got. 22,000. 22. Okay. So I guess this is wrong. This will be 21. Na? 101 minus 90,000 will only be 21,000. Yeah. Okay. So no, in fact, it will be 11,000 only. Sorry. I'm sorry. It will be 11,000. 101 minus 90,000. Yeah, 11,000. 11, right. And for the year 2019, it will be. 40,000, right? Zainab, is that right? 130 minus 90, you will get 40,000? 40,000, 40, yes, sir. Okay. Once you are done with the normal profit, then, then just multiply it with the weighted profit. Oh, sorry, weights. And find out, the, find out the weighted profit. I'm sure that you will be able to calculate the correct goodwill this time. So, I'm just moving to the next question. I'm giving you few homework just a minute let me check whether i can give you any question for homework or not question number 60 okay so just take question number 60 as your homework this will be the question that i'm giving you for homework take the screenshot this one is a, is a little difficult question 
and I'm not sure that whether you will be able to solve it or not, but still I'm giving you this question. If you are not able to solve it, I'll be helping you solve it in the next class. But just at least just give it a try. Try to solve it. Even if you do it uh, wrong, that doesn't matter. Just, just try it at least once. Is that clear, Saf, Shifa, and Zainab? No. Yes. All right, everyone. So just take the screenshot. Let me know when you are done. 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 Shifa, Zainab, both of you. So I have done with the screenshot yes, of this question. I'm giving you this question as your homework. Take this screen. <clears throat> So I have a doubt. In the last mm -hmm. question, mm -hmm. uh, in the adjustment, why did we subtract the remuneration? It's an abnormal loss, right? So we have to add it. Remuneration is not the abnormal loss. Remuneration is a normal, a normal expense of the business. Oh, okay. Payment of salary is a normal expense, na? It how can it be abnormal expense? Yeah. Okay. So abnormal is a, abnormal. Basically, means anything which is. Uh, uh, not any expense which is not an expense of the regular uh, operating activity of the business, which is not a day to day expense of the business that is considered as the abnormal. Like, for example, if there is a stock loss by fire, so losing of a stock by fire is, is something which is abnormal that does not happen on a regular basis, right? So, therefore, it is considered as an abnormal expense. But salary is something which is very, very or regular, which is uh, uh, which can be considered as the regular operational expense of the business. So this will be and uh, this will be a regular expense. This will be a normal expense instead of the abnormal expense. I hope it is clear. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, uh, Saf, you are done with the screenshot. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, guys. So this is it for the today's session. We will be discussing about the super profit method in the next class. Make sure that nobody miss, misses the class. Uh, if you miss the class, you will have uh, uh, problem solving the class.